Combank cares, take one. Here at Combank, we know many people out there are doing it tough. Sir, I have the new profit figures. Hang on, this is not the appropriate but time. But sir, they're massive. Hang on, how massive? Ten million dollars one of the year size out! Anyway, what was I saying? Oh yes, doing it tough. Come with me, I want to show you something. <laughs> Wasn't meant to show you that. What I wanted to show you is that here at Combank, we want to offer you a helping hand. A, a helping hand. We understand that the current economic environment is tough. Bloody RBA, increasing bloody interest rates, which we then choose to pass on, leading to increased bloody profits to the tune of $10 billion. Oh, stop it, why don't you? <laughs> Can you keep it down in here? I'm trying to sound sincere. I'm going outside. We do understand that these profits are extraordinary and people deserve to share in them. People like our CEO, who's receiving almost $8 million in bonuses. In our defense, we work hard. So hard, in fact, that this week in New South Wales, we just had a bank holiday. It's a good industry. But we are giving back in other ways. We've just launched new specialist branches where cash is not available over the counter. You know that one thing you want when you visit a bank? You can't get that anymore. I think this kind of revolutionary thinking will catch on. In five to 10 years, the post office will have no letters, just fidget spinners. But look, we know you're feeling the squeeze because we're the ones squeezing you. And sure, we've just made a $10 billion annual profit, but not every bank is doing so well. Just look at the latest half yearly profits for these banks. ANZ unveiled a record six month cash profit of $3.8 billion, underpinned by a string of interest rate hikes. NAB profit surges to more than $4 billion in six months. Boosted by rising interest rates, Westpac posts $4 billion net profit. See, banks are doing it tough too. Bloody RBA, 